Okay everybody, this is something just a little different. Um, this is just showing you how I've been building up things for Beauty and the Beast. I needed to get a sort of just a normal castle picture and then I wanted to build it to make it more cartoony. So this is my normal picture to start off with here as you can see. And I started off first of all by needing to get this less realistic and a little bit more sort of cartoony. So I'll go into my uh, sort of, if I go into my colour balances and show you up here. So what I did is first of all is I wanted to make it a little bit more bluer. So we do this. So we get it a little very darky blue. Uh, maybe uh, you just have a little check with that. Can just make it a little more cartoony as you can see there. Um, turning it down a little bit more. Once you've got that sort of in place, then um, I go back into my quality for a different one and then go into the brightness contrast, taking it really down so it's a sort of dark battlements like this. Maybe turn the contrast up a touch like that, just give it more definition. So now I've got my dark battlements which I'm not if you can just see it more on the thing and then now what I need to do is green screen this out so with this normal picture I go to my uh, color changing tool get a good green screen color and then I start to color the backgrounds so that was an easy one there's sometimes little little fixes what you have to do and now I've changed the color to a green screen background Okay, the next bit is I go to my timeline on my video, video to editing software. I'm using the um, Pinnacle 23, which is quite a powerful one. Then we find our picture with the green screen and darkened, and we put this onto our timeline. As you can see, it's not fitting there well on the on the bars. So what I would do with that is we go to editor, um, take it to the pan and zoom, and then what I'm doing is going to fit it more to the screen if you look on the right hand side picture you see I'm taking away the black bars so that it will go across the whole of our screen now then once that's done we're happy with that I go back to my timeline and I'm going to say let's do a test of say of a minute or so okay so we've got that bit next after that um, I've got some dark sky that I've chosen and this particular one I'm just overlaying onto the second line and then I'm just going to take the logo out first of all so now we're onto this one and then we have to key once we've got the background in there then next we go to our screen editor again because we've made a, a green screen so we're going to effect look at our keys pad and then take the green screen off now, what this enables us to do, in fact, I think for that one I needed to pan out and zoom a little bit for that as well also, just to get those clouds a bit higher at the top. That should be enough. So, if you run this now together, now what we have is the dark screen with some lighting effects and more dramatic and thunder and lightning in the background seems to work okay the next part of the process for me would be I've now got into my sound effects libraries and I'm bringing down uh, this particular sound effect which is a thunder and lightning sort of sound effect and as you can see it there now this one is a little bit dramatic um, because this one which I intended it to be is going to be the fight scene and death scene of Gaston. I'm turning the sound down a little bit so it's more in the background and now you can see the composite of them working together gives it a little bit more just a little bit in the background okay so the idea of that is just gives it a little bit more depth Okay, so the next piece that I did is I've just dragged in a piece of music 
onto this channel here and the idea this is just not probably not the music I'll use it's just for demonstration purposes this is from the cartoon I'm going to be using a specialized track for this for us and at the bottom so now as you can see right at the bottom there and I'll try and zoom in for you a little bit so what you can actually see now is on this side of it I have now let me see is that in focus yeah you can see so I've altered the the, the volume settings here to go down and then just accent upwards there for a little bit and a bit more thunder and um, so we have the music in so we set the scene now by having our overlay the background the um, the dark and so now that's setting the scene a bit more thunder our actors will be saying something and then I'm dropping the volume there and bring creeping the music in Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've I've crept in, putting the thing uh, on the timeline there. You can see that highlighted now, I brought it down the soundtrack of the Thunder and Lightning and up a little bit to accent there. On the top here, we're creeping in the music and then as we go down on that, the music will be more accentuated. So we end up with all four composites now. So the actors are coming in there, as you can see now, the music starts to creep in now. The thunder light has gone down, our actors will be saying something there. And then the music will creep up into the scene. And then I've brought the volume up a little again here, just for another accent of thunder. And this is the big background. Thunder and lightning going in the background with our actors. And then we creep in the music slightly there. We lower down the thunder and lightning so our actors get to talk a little bit. And the accents up. The music goes bigger. A little bit more accent of the thunder and lightning brought back up. the finish is the finished item for the whole background. Now you can see the full composites all together. This actually on the camera here is a little brighter than it is. The camera's just trying to pick it up. That's a little darker on the finished product. Music, the effects, the sound effects, the lightning coming in and out. Now we bring in the castle flats that will go here in front, which will make it 3D and raised. And that's how we build our composites. That was, a, that was a little interesting one for you. That was just how we build up the uh, presents.